This is a screencast to give a quick orientation for the Static Fluids Lab for First Year Physics. After you log in, you're going to go over to the shortcut to Pasco Capstone, double click and get it started. Over the Christmas break, we upgraded to 1.1.2. You're not going to notice any changes. We're using one of the blue passport sensors. So when you go in, the hardware setup should find it automatically. It'll be a power link. And when you go over here, it should say high resolution force sensor. If it doesn't, check that the power bar is on. Close that. The first set of measurements, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be just doing uh, a simple graph. A single graph isn't an option, so go over to here, click and drag it over. We're going to be doing some force versus time. Time should show up automatically, but we don't have to change any of the other settings here. When you initially set it up, it should be right at zero. If it's not right at zero, look at the front of your force sensor and there should be a zero button and you can hit that. Okay, you'll notice a little wiggle when I hit it. Now if you push up, it should give you a positive. Negative gives, pulling down gives you a negative value. Okay, if you want to actually have the reverse, it won't make any big difference. It'll just change the sign on a graph. You can go into the hardware setup, properties and change the sign. Okay, now if I hit record, if I hit push up, it actually gives a negative and I pull down like I'm hanging a weight, it'll give a positive value. Okay, note when you're using graph, you can always pin it so that that thing doesn't move around. And if you want to do simultaneous viewing, you can click that and then you can choose to see multiple runs or just choose whichever one you want. If that's unselected, you'll only be able to see one run at a time. Okay, now with this one here, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be doing the difference between a couple values. So just fairly quickly, you're going to be going over to the access the delta tool and then put that over to one of your data sets right over there. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be finding the difference between a couple different values. So go over to the thing, right click and show the delta tool. And then you can move this to where your, wherever your second point is. This one here is now showing the change in time. This is now sh showing the change in the force sensor and you'll be using that to get some data. The second one you're going to do is some displacement data and we're going to create a new graph. So what you can do is just to make sure you don't mix things up. It's always a good idea to name your pages. But we're going to create a new page and this is going to be the displacement data. Okay, You can be more descriptive or not. This case here, we're going to create a table and a graph, okay? But instead of using the force sensor measurement directly, we're going to create stuff. So go over to select measurement and create a new user enter data. This case here, this is going to be displaced volume. You could also call it volume, but you might get mixed up. You can use centimeters cubed or meters cubed, okay? And then the other one you're also going to create is going to be the apparent weight. Now physics 112 is going to use apparent weight, so you could use apparent weight like that. Physics 122 is going to call it tension. It is actually the same thing. We're just calling it different things and it's a force, so it's newtons. Now initially zero displaced volume, tension whatever the force sensor gives you, positive or negative depending on how you've set it up. So say you have 0 0.9 newtons. Initially, this doesn't do anything because it isn't linked to the table. So you go over to here and you say, on my y-axis, I want tension, and on my x-axis, I want displaced volume. So you can see the data point right there. Now, as soon as you go in and you enter more data, what will end up happening is it's now graphed. Once you've got your graph, you can go over here, pin it, you can resize it so it's all nice and visible, the whole thing. You can also do things like find a linear fit, okay? Now that slope value that's there, okay, you just zoom in and out with your mouse wheel. This value here, it'll be either positive or negative depending on whether these are positive or negative. But it actually has the units of whatever is on the y-axis and the x-axis. You're going to have to do some conversions and some calculations, but remember it will have units. So keep that in mind and uh, you'll do some calculations and find some densities. That's it. See you in the lab.